Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From July 4th through August 26th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a set of all four Commander 2019 decks. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and today we're going to attempt to discover greatness. Yes, we're going to do it. We're going to open a box of Modern Horizons. So, I usually like to open these products a little bit closer to the release. However, obviously I've been a little busy with Corset 2020 previews, and I just haven't had time. So I'm opening the box now, and honestly, I'm still in the middle of Corset previews. So I don't know when this is going to show up on the channel. By the time you see it, it might be, I don't know, a week or so after I actually open the box. So I'm going to try not to talk too much about current events. I am watching the Mythic Championship right now, though, so that gives you an idea of when this is. So, I might say some things. Maybe I'll say a card's looking good, and maybe it's not so good anymore, or vice versa. But anyway, here we go. Let's see what we get. I'm excited to open this product up just because I just want to play some limited. That's the main reason I just didn't wait. Hopefully when I finish up doing all these Corset 20, 20, um, hang on, my audio is doing something crazy. Hold up. My computer, I need a new computer. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, sorry about that. Okay, let's just get going here. Crack some packs. See what we can find. So as I was saying, I just wanted to play some limited, so... Now, hopefully I can do that with these cards. And of course we do have the rares right in the front. Um, this is the first time I've actually seen these art cards. They're actually a little bit glossy if you haven't seen them yet. It's kind of cool. All right, we're gonna start off with a foil and it is Iceberg Cancrix. Oh, okay, sure. First rare is Hogak, Arisen Necropolis. Very popular right now in those Hogak uh, Bridgevine decks. Now just thumb through our uncommons and just at least for the first few packs, maybe quickly through the comments so you get, in that, get an eye and get a feel for them. Okay, let's keep going. Let's speed it up a little bit now that I wasted time talking about everything but pack opening and then hitting the table. And we have Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Cool. All right. There's the commons. Pack number three. So I don't know if there's anything in particular I'm looking for. I mean, Sarah would be cool just because it's one of the Planeswalkers. I mean, there's one. Ren and Six would be great, too. Wouldn't complain if I saw that. Aria of Flame is our rare. Cool. Haven't seen any foil, uh, foil tokens yet. I'm sure they'll be coming. We have Nether Spirit as our rare in this pack. So far, so good. Okay. So yeah, maybe Sarah would be cool to get. Either of the Planeswalkers would be awesome. I already pulled a nice rare with Hogak. So, oh, there's our first foil. It's a spider. Nice. And we have, oh, foil Astral Drift. Okay, not a bad foil rare. I think somebody could build around this. It's a sweet card. And we have Eladamri's Call as our other rare in the, in the pack. Okay. So that one, of course, is a reprint. I'm just gonna move these cards out of the way. I'm a mess today. I haven't opened packs in first for like ever. I think the last time I opened any, well, I guess it wasn't forever. It was War of the Spark, right? Not too long ago. Feels like forever ago. Spiteful Sliver. It was like eight sets ago now, wasn't it? Um, sure feels that way. Sure feels that way. I don't know. Wizards is putting sets out so fast. I think. One of the things with Modern Horizons I think you gotta watch out for, it is a print of demand set, but I don't know how much of this stuff's gonna get printed just because it's in between two very popular sets. Archmage's Charm. I mean, the core set looks really good. People are hyped about it. And where the Spark is popular. Considering this has a higher price point, I think a lot of your casual fans that play like limited, draft or sealed, they might open this for a week or two, move on to the next thing. Deep Forest Hermit is your rare. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I do think that this could be a product that ends up getting kind of underordered, just simply because people are just onto other stuff. 
you know, and they're just running out of money. That's how I kind of felt. I'm like, I have to buy another box again. Stirring address, Meriden Besieged is our rare. So it's kind of a sweet looking common foil though. Okay. No mythics yet. So let's see what our mythics end up being. But yeah, this is something I, I wouldn't sleep on. If you're looking to pick up cards, I mean, just yesterday I did the market watch now again. I don't know when, what day you're watching this. Oh, there's a mythic that I want. It's the first sliver. I love slivers. I always like to collect sl sliver lords when I can. And I think, I don't know if I, st I sold a lot of cards. So I don't know if I still have all mine, but I got this one now. So there you go. Hmm. Very cool. Happy to see that. I'll take that any day. Um, so with that and Hogak, those are two pretty big pulls so far. So anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, the market watch that I just put out on the 22nd, I think it was 22nd, 23rd. Oh yeah, another foil, Tempered Sliver. Our rare is Dead of Winter. There's the three Llanowar Elves. So, um, yeah, the cards from Modern Horizons, you would expect to still be going down in value pretty sharply. Not really the case, like Hogak was because Hogak spiked last week. But you're not seeing a lot of cards going down in value, which is kind of scary. Now there's a good card, Fiery Islet. We want to hit as many of these as possible. And of course, being in the Is It Colors, that's awesome. So fantastic. First one of those Horizon Lands, Canopy Lands, whatever you want to call them. But I wouldn't mind if all my rares were those, basically. <laughs> I'd be fine with that. Future Sight, reprint. Yeah, it's a fun cube card. It's good and limited too, which is what I'm gonna do with these packs. It's a foil goblin token too. I'm also excited to see Snow Cover Lands back. I like the full art, Snow Covered. Some of my favorite sets. I used to like playing some Ice Age back in the day. There's Sarah, not really, but kind of. Um, <laughs> Lightning Skelemental is our rare. I used to love, I love Cold Snap too. I remember when Cold Snap came out, I was really into that set because I liked Ice Age, and it just seemed like it wasn't selling well, maybe because it was a small set in the summer, and the store I bought my cards from, they were trying to, like, sell me boxes. Ice Fang Kotal. They were trying... Oh, there's, there's a good uncommon, too. Generous Gift. That's also for Commander. Basically a Commander staple now, if you're in that color. Um, but they were trying to, like, get rid of their boxes, and they were going to sell them to me for something like 40 or 50 bucks a piece. By that time, I already bought, like, enough. Like, I had, like, the singles I wanted and stuff. So, I didn't buy them, but I should have. There we go. Ayola, queen among bears. So, now I can play some bear commander. I can join the rest of the world and go buy my pal bears and my bear cub. And, yeah, that would get expensive quick right now. Maybe by the time you watch the video, though, those cards will go down in value. They are getting kind of pricey, though. So, <laughs> But that, that will calm down once everybody kind of builds their bear deck and moves on to the next thing. Elemental, there's a foil one. Ooh, Unbound Flourishing. Nice Mythic. This is a good Commander Mythic to have. Like, it's not super expensive right now, and I'm a little surprised because Commander players are going to want this thing. So, yeah, this is one. If you don't have a copy, you might want to grab one. Because I don't think it's going to get much cheaper, honestly. Maybe over the next week or so, as packs get open, it might get a little cheaper, but after that, I would expect it to just slowly climb. That's one of those cards you wake up one morning and you just happen to notice it, and it's worth like 40 bucks, and you're like, what happened? Merit Lay just slumber. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've hit, what, two Mythics now? We're about half, we're halfway the, through the box. Going kind of quick through this one. Endling. That's cool. The end of the cycle. Three elves again. I'm really looking forward to playing with this set. Just, of course, very reminiscent of Time Spiral, which is a set I really love. I love that block, too, so if anyone had a chance to play Limited with that. A few years ago, actually, before they got too expensive, I did buy a pack, a couple packs of each to play Limited, like one last time, with the cards from the block, so... Future Sight was not that expensive at the time. I think I maybe paid like $10, $15 a pack or something. I just bought a couple packs. But yeah, nowadays I think that would be very expensive. Change, Changeling Outcast is our foil. And Cordial Vampire, look how happy he is. Welcome. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> First Sliver is chosen. 
Battle Screech, nice. Okay. Dirt Seeker. So, no, um, no Planeswalker yet. Only one Horizon Land. I really want to see more of those. There's another Astral Drift. So we got a foil one. Now we got a regular one. Which is fine. That's fine. Come on, Planeswalkers. And like I said, I wouldn't be sad if the rest of these rares were all Horizon Lands. I'd take that. I'd be fine with that. Runation Rider. Oh, there we go. Silent Clearing. Maybe they all will be. So there's another one. <laughs> Oh, shenanigans. Awesome. Awesome that they call the card shenanigans. So let me know in the comments below how your polls have been. Or maybe you've just been buying singles, what you've been picking up. That's really the smart thing to do. The only reason I buy the box really is because, well, first off, it makes for a good video. But Winds of Abandon. And more cards. It makes for a good video, sure. But also... I do play with these, so I'll play draft. I'll just keep them together and play draft your seal with friends. So, yeah, it's basically at least paper magic how I've been playing for the most part recently. I have been playing arena though. Altar of Dementia. This is a rare, good reprint. Seeing playing the Hogak deck, very popular right now. See if it maintains. It's always been a good commander card too, though. A lot of crazy things you can do with it. All right, come on, Canopy Lands or Horizon Lands. Whichever. Bizarre Trade Mage. This is cool. There's just so many like little inside things on this card from Magic's history. I just think that's really cool. I like that one. I'll take it. Getting down there. Haven't seen, well, we've seen two Mythics. And a, we got our Foil Rare. Probably won't get another one. Collector Oof, right? Oof. Yeah, oof. Alf. I looked it up. I said it right in the preview video. <laughs> so. I did research. I actually do research on these pronunciations. I mean, every once in a while, I'll flub something. Sure. Yeah, don't worry. Plenty of people let me know. But um, I actually do look up things. I do legwork when it comes to pronunciations. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the mythic you want to see. I forgot. I wasn't even thinking about, like, where's any Ogmoth. Yeah, Urza Lord High Artificer. Awesome commander card. People building around this thing all over the place. So, I don't know, is this still the most expensive card in the set? Probably. Uh, although, who knows when this video airs, if it will be or not. Just a really, really sweet card there. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome pull. Like, this this would have been a awesome foil pull, but that's all right. <laughs> that's really cool. All right. So, that's our third mythic. I'm pretty happy with this box. Two Horizon Lands, or Canopy Lands. I would have liked more. Hopefully we'll get a few more. Urza, though, the first sliver. What was our other mythic now? I already forgot. Okay, Plague Engineer. Got a pretty good foil rare, too. I mean, it was the pre-release promo, though, but... Still, it is different, obviously. One more really big pull would be fun. I'm not expecting a big foil pull, but yeah, maybe another cool, like, real big mythic. Oh, that's nice. Giver of Runes is a good rare. It's seeing some play. You know, I wasn't too impressed with this card, actually, when I reviewed it. But, I don't know, maybe I was too hard on it because it wasn't Mother of Runes, but, I, you know, not much is. But this is seeing modern play. So, and some legacy, or no, modern, just modern. So far, yeah, just modern. At time of recording, anyway, who knows. So... This is a uh, shapeshifter foil. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Prismatic Vista. That's a good rare to pull. If you're not going to pull a Canopy Land, I suppose, this is actually really, really good. So, very nice rare there. And it's, it's worth more. At least the time of recording again could have changed. I think this is worth more than all the Canopy Lands. It has a lot of utility. I mean, you could throw that in virtually any deck in theory. Some decks, I think, will... I think a lot of decks will want at least a copy or two of it. Some might want more, definitely. Okay, On Thin Ice is our rare. Another generous gift. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. What are we down to now? We're getting low. We're getting low. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Last five packs. Let's move this out of the way. 
What do we want? One more crazy like mythic would be fun. Maybe even like a Yawgmoth or well, I want a Planeswalker. Where's Sarah? Or Ren and Six. There's answered prayers. Well, will our prayers be answered? Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of. Nurturing peatlands. I'll take it. So very good. There's our third Horizon Lands. Man of War. Good, good limited card. All right, four more packs, four more packs. So let's say one more mythic, like Planeswalker and three, three Horizon Lands. That's what we want. Okay, here we go. And we get Kai, uh, Kaya's Guile, Kaya's Guile. Ooh, two uh, Talismans in that one. I do like the art on the Talismans. I think they're sweet looking. Cool cards. Three more. Well, if this is your first time watching the channel, hey, remember to subscribe. We do a lot of a lot of preview content more than we're like the preview channel now. Basically, we talk about preview cards all the time. Um, but normally, when we're not doing a million previews, we do our market watch every Saturday. We'll do um, tournament wrap ups on Monday. Oh, okay. So this a weather like captain? That's nice. I'll take that. Pretty cool. Another good commander card here. Good rare. So we do a lot of different stuff, kind of news updates, that type of thing. Put out a fair amount of content, so although I'm going to need a break after all these all these previews, and then Commander 2019 previews will be starting not too far from now. Iola's Influence, okay, go along with our, our bear theme, sure. All right, last pack. Can we go out on a big note? I want to go out on like a big note, right? Like, worst thing, Canopy Land, right? But maybe we'll get a Mythic? I don't know. I don't know. We got a Squirrel. Oh, a Foil Squirrel. That's a good sign, right? That's a sign of something awesome about to happen. Foil Squirrel. <laughs> Yagmoth. Looking pretty menacing. Oh, it's a Mythic. It's Mox Tantalite. <laughs> if you watched my review, I wasn't a big fan of this card. So I think it's pretty ironic that that was the last pack. So, okay. I like it. I like the humor there. Um, I don't know. I'm not sad to have it. It says Mox on it. Can't be all bad, right? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Scuttling Sliver. Arc Scale Guardian. Twisted Reflection. All right. Well, that is the box. Hey, if you're looking to pick up a box of your own, check out FlipSideGaming.com. You can use the Heroes promo code to save a little bit of cash there, and that also supports the channel. They also have Corset 2020 singles up now, as well as booster boxes. So. Hey, that type of thing is always appreciated. Thank you not only to the folks that do buy through them and help the channel that way, or even the folks that do Patreon or Amazon, whatever. I always appreciate that so much. But even to the viewers that just watch, like, share, subscribe, that means a ton. So thank you. Thank you to everybody. I can't believe we're getting close to closing in on 34,000 now, which is insane. So thank you all. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.